In this video, we're gonna be replacing the parking brake shoes and the hardware in the rear of this 2012 Mitsubishi Outlander. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and remove this rear wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and use a 17 millimeter socket. So we're gonna remove the caliper bolts here. We're gonna do that with a 14 millimeter socket. I have a breaker bar on this because these are probably gonna give us some trouble coming out. So I just switched to a panel tool or some kind of flat pliers to push these bolts out. Don't want to ruin the threads. Once you have that bolt free, go ahead and inspect your caliper. Make sure you have no leaks around the piston around that plastic seal. Check your brake pads. Go ahead and set the piston aside. All right, now we're gonna remove our brake rotor. Inside this piece here, you have your emergency brake shoes. You may have to work your brake rotor off of the shoes inside. You may have to also pry a side forward and then just pull straight back. So we're gonna start by removing the springs. Let me use a hook tool. Go ahead and pull that spring off the pin, if possible. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this small plate. Now our shoes are somewhat free. We still have a lot of hardware. We'll go ahead and remove these retaining springs and cups. Sometimes a small pair of pliers, you're gonna wanna try and push the springs in and twist the pins if you can. I'm use a pair of pliers to push in the cup. Let's see if I can turn that pin. Go ahead and remove the cup and spring. Repeat for the other side. Down the bottom, you have your adjuster. There is one more spring on the shoe itself. We'll go ahead and remove that spring. Now your shoes should be able to be removed. There is your e-brake cable running into this shoe here. This is your e-brake cable here. Before we do that, let's go ahead and remove this front shoe. Just go ahead and lift it out of the way. It'll come, this one came out with the adjuster. So here's your e-brake cable. There is a head inside this little capture point. We're gonna go ahead and pull back that spring. Get a pair of pliers. Needle nose pliers a little farther back. And we're gonna push that out. Need a little bit more grip further back. I'm gonna go ahead and push that out and out of that retainer. So now we have one last piece that just kind of sat straight down. Take this straight out. 
We have these two last pins, just push them straight out the back. These will be included in your new hardware. Now that your shoes and hardware are out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and just clean up some of this loose scale, this loose rust with a wire brush. So this is the piece that our parking brake cable mounts into. This piece has to be disassembled from your old shoe with the retaining clip and installed on the new shoe. Before we do that, we're just gonna clean up a little bit here. Some brake parts cleaner, wire brush. All right, so your new hardware kit should come with a new retainer and washer under here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pry that off. So you can go ahead and work this assembly free and off. You may have to work it back and forth and then pry upwards to release that. A little silicone grease around the pin. Next step would be put your washer down then your park brake lever. With that down in place, you can press down, flatten that washer a bit. Go ahead and put your clip over. Now we can squeeze that clip. Make sure it's in the slot with a pair of locking pliers or a pair of pliers. Go ahead and squeeze that clip together. Just test out the rotation. Make sure everything's free. Your clip doesn't come free. You're good to move on. Now that you have your park brake lever installed, let's go ahead and install your park brake cable onto the lever. You're gonna to wanna to push this spring back a good amount. Grab a pair of pliers and go ahead and feed the wire through, seat the head in there and go ahead and release the spring. Now your park brake cable is installed onto the shoe. Go ahead and set that aside. So we're gonna go ahead and put our two pins in, slide them in through the back one on each side. Now you have two springs and two cups that will go over there. We'll go ahead and install those now. Go ahead and rotate this up. Your pin's gonna go through this hole here. You're gonna go ahead and hold your pin in place. Feed it through the shoe. Go ahead, take your spring, put it over. We've taken our cup and put in a pair of locking pliers. Go ahead and line it up. Push and twist to lock it in place. And repeat for the other side. So we'll take our shoe, put it over the pin. We'll go ahead and support the pin from the back side. Go ahead and slide your spring over. Now we've gone ahead and put our locking cup and a pair of locking pliers. We'll go ahead and push the spring and turn. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our strut with our new spring on. To make this a little bit easier on you, you can grab the two shoes by the top, open up that area a little bit. Go ahead and slide your strut into position. And so 
So now we're going to install our adjuster and adjuster spring. So there is a right and a wrong way for your adjuster to go on. We're on the rear right side of the vehicle. You're going to put it on like so. All right, what we're going to do is go ahead and install our spring. I'm just going to use a pick tool. Go ahead and pull that spring over. So now go ahead and install our top two springs. There is a plate, it goes over the top here. Okay, so at this point, if you went ahead and put your rotor back up to your new shoes, you'll find that they may not fit and slide over the shoes. This is where you would go ahead and adjust your brake shoes. This is your adjuster. So what we can do because we're here and have access, we can pull that spring up and open or close your shoes. So we'll know, we know that we're a little too wide. So we can go ahead and close those up a little bit and retry our rotor. And you can make those adjustments until your rotors fit snugly on. So this hole here, once you put your rotors back on, will give you access to your adjustment wheel on your brake shoes. You may have adjusted them too small or too wide. If you were too wide, you couldn't get your rotors on. But if you went too small, you can go through here with the flat blade screwdriver and adjust them out to just the right width. So now we're gonna rotate our caliper in place. Now we'll grease up our caliper pin and slide these into place. With a 14 millimeter socket, tighten these down. And now we can tighten down our bolts to 32 foot-pounds. Now we can reinstall our wheel and our 17 millimeter socket, get the lug nuts started. All right, now that the vehicle's on the ground, we can torque the lug nuts to 98 foot-pounds. We'll do that in a star pattern. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.